Today is the sacred assembly of the Passover. We give glory and praises to Elohim, God the Father and God the Mother, for allowing us to keep the Passover. Before we begin the main worship service of the Passover, let us study about the meaning of the Passover foot-washing ceremony, which Jesus taught us 2,000 years ago by taking a look at John chapter 13. It was just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come for Him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved His own who were in the world, He now showed them the full extent of His love. The evening meal was being served, and the devil had already prompted Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under His power and that He had come from God and was returning to God. So He got up from the meal, took off His outer clothing and wrapped a towel around His waist. After that, He poured water into a basin and began to wash His disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around Him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord, Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, A person who has had a bath needs only to wash his feet. His whole body is clean. Let's go to verse 12. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for this is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should do what? Wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Before we participate in the main Passover ceremony, we must hold the foot-washing ceremony according to this teaching of Jesus. Only after washing our feet can we participate in the Holy Supper through which we can partake of the Holy Body of Christ. God said, if anyone participates in Christ's Holy Supper without undergoing the foot-washing ceremony, it is a greater sin. Therefore, we must all take part in the foot-washing ceremony today. It is called the foot-washing ceremony because it is a ceremony to wash our feet. Those who fail to participate in this ceremony cannot participate in the Holy Supper ceremony. Observing this ceremony is the way to follow the teachings of the Bible. Therefore, we must do this. Let's take a look at Exodus chapter 30 to see how the Old Testament explains this regulation. Chapter 30, verse 17. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a bronze basin with its bronze stand for washing. Place it between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it. Aaron and his sons are to wash their hands and feet with water from it. In the Old Testament, there was a ceremony to wash both the hands and feet. However, in the New Testament, Jesus said that just washing the feet is enough. Let's see verse 19 again. Aaron and his sons are to wash their hands and feet with water from it. Whenever they enter the tent of meeting, they shall wash with water so that they will not die. It was a very strict system in the Old Testament. If the priests enter the tent of meeting to minister there without washing their hands and feet, they were killed. In this age too, the Bible teaches us that we end up committing a greater sin if we participate in the Holy Supper ceremony without performing the foot-washing ceremony first. Therefore, we must conduct the Passover Holy Supper ceremony according to the order of the ceremony.
Let's see verse 20 again. Whenever they enter the tent of meeting, they shall wash with water so that they will not die. Also, when they approach the altar to minister by presenting an offering made to the Lord by fire, they shall wash their hands and feet so that they will not die. This is to be a lasting ordinance for Aaron and his descendants for the generations to come. The priests in the Old Testament times, before entering the tent of meeting to carry out their ministry inside, had to wash their hands and feet with water from a basin. Only those priests were qualified to enter the sanctuary. Today, we are keeping the Passover through which we participate in Christ's holy flesh and Christ's precious blood. Just like the priests in the Old Testament, in John chapter 13 of the New Testament, Jesus conducted the foot washing ceremony in a holy manner by washing the disciples' feet in order to set us an example. If we participate in the Passover Holy Supper without participating in the foot washing ceremony, it is no different than the priests in the Old Testament who entered God's tent of meeting without washing their hands and feet. As for such priests, God even put an end to their lives. When we see this, we can understand that we must never take this matter lightly in the New Testament as well. Even in the time of Jesus' first coming, all the saints of the early church regarded the Passover ceremony as extremely important. It is even recorded in the Bible that unfortunate consequences occurred due to problems related to the ceremony of eating the Passover bread and wine. Even if you are keeping the Passover for the first time today and you are unfamiliar with this feast, please understand only those who participate in the foot washing ceremony as instructed by the Church can participate in the Holy Supper ceremony of eating the Passover bread and drinking the wine. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night He was betrayed, took bread. And when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, He took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Verse 28. A man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drinks of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without recognizing the body of the Lord eats and drinks judgment on himself. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 30 mentions the result of failing to keep the Passover according to its regulations. Today, we are keeping the Holy Passover through which we can receive eternal life, escape disasters, and receive God's seal as the people of heaven. This ceremony has procedures and regulations. Today, I pray that everybody can keep the Passover in an orderly manner according to its regulations, starting from the foot washing ceremony to the Holy Supper ceremony, so that all the family members of Zion can be blessed by God and dwell in the love of father and mother throughout the entire year. I would like to finish today's sermon for the foot-washing ceremony. Thank you very much.